planner. Well, now that we have a twin row capable planner, we they decided to have a uh, study here where we were working with twin rows. And uh, according to the literature, the twin rows, you know, your biggest yield increases are going to be I-90 North, and we're right in there. And that we're close enough to I-90 that uh, we'll, we might see a lot of the yield benefits of twin rows. Uh, a lot of stuff's very variable, so it's going to be nice. We're going to have some localized data that's going to be coming out of here, so we'll be able to see how everything works up in this area. Some advantage of, uh, advantages of narrow rows or twin rows is when you add that extra row, you're actually giving the plant more space and thus then the plants are not competing with each other as much for, nutri for the nutrients, light, and water. And then they're going to be able to put on a little bit more growth and it might help maybe expand the root system a little bit. You might get a little more uptake with the root system. Also, by closing in the canopy, you'll be able to increase light interception. And by increasing light interception, then you're going to be shading the ground. And then the sunlight won't be hitting the ground. It'll keep the soil cooler. So on a drier year, it'll help uh, maybe in, not stop and maybe inhibit some uh, evaporation. And it might be able to keep some of the weed growth down. And they've done studies with these things. And again, that's also variable. So it'll be nice to collect some of that data and see how everything works. Uh, the advantages of going to a twin row system over a regular narrow row system is that you don't have to purchase a new header. You can just use a 30 inch head and then you just each, each individual row will be pulled in and uh, you can save on some investment on that. But you'll have to buy a, a planter and you might have to put narrow tires. And so that's some of the investments there. Some disadvantages might be that when you put, apply insecticide down in the row, you typically do it by the row and not necessarily per acre. And so you might have to, it might increase some of the insecticide. Uh, the yield advantage for basically I-90 North, they're saying is somewhere around four to 7%, but that's not every single year. So some years you may see the advantage, some years you don't. But it's, that's the place that you're probably gonna see, probably the greatest chance that you're going to see a, a yield advantage with this system. Uh, some people wonder whether or not that there is a varietal interaction with twin rows. And again, you know, some data supports that some varieties may, may behave differently in twin rows. And then the next year, maybe at a different location, it doesn't perform the same. So also that's also variable. Uh, and they're thinking that maybe the, some of the differences in, that, in the yields of some of these varieties that have an interaction could be leaf angle, leaf width, it might have something to do with its ability, ability to shade the sunlight and help maybe cut down on that evaporation or maybe control the weeds by, by shading, shading out the weeds. But the study you're looking at here, this is a population study with twin rows and there's five, let's see, five treatments and the treatments are 16,000 plants per acre, 22,000, 28,000, 34,000, 40,000. And they're doing this both in a single row, 30 inch, and they're also doing it in a twin row. And this way they're going to be able to compare and see, see how the two work with one another. And as, if you can see over here, if you guys would like to come down, uh, I cut a little path out here if you're interested. And you can actually walk out and I can show you uh, the difference in maybe the shading effect out here where there's some different populations. Each of these rows are seven and a half inches apart. And then the interior rows are 22 inches, so your corn snout will come right through the middle and it'll pull this one in a little bit and it'll pull that one in a little bit. And uh, the, the only disadvantage that I have really read up on that was that if you have a little insect, little insect pressure and they're prone to lodging, it can make harvesting difficult. But if you have a, a good insect management program, it, shouldn't be, it wouldn't be an issue as much. This here is your, is your single 30-inch single, uh, row. This is, looks like it's probably the, the 40,000 population. And this is a twin row at 40,000. And then if you walk over here, there's a little path, and then that's the twin row, and that's 16,000. So if you kind of stand, you can kind of look and see what, what the shading looks like. You can kind of compare the, higher, the high uh, population to the low population twin row, and then the 30-inch the 30, 30 row is here. They had two, they had two separate planting dates out here. It's, I should mention that. Yep. So, because the, the the idea is, is there might be, uh, they're thinking that the twin row might have a yield advantage more so on the later planted stuff, 
because it'll canopy in faster. It'll maybe help keep them weeds out.